Hello, this is Peter from Gullian Technology. Today I would like to share with you the steps that you need to take in order to prepare for the Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate exam. So make sure to watch to the end, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gullian.uk. Let's get started. Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate exam is a foundational exam. You can find more details about this exam on the website training.linuxfoundation.org slash certification slash kubernetes dash cloud dash native dash associate. Once you register for this exam, you will have 12 months to schedule and take the exam. In case you fail your first attempt, you will have a second attempt without pay paying any additional money. The cost of the exam, as you can see, is $250 plus tax. If you want, you can buy as well the official course offered by the Linux Foundation. The name of the course is Kubernetes and Cloud Native Essentials, LFS 250. Uh, as you can see, the, course, the price of the course is $49. I use this course uh, for my preparation. This course is available only, uh, only, also only for 12 months. So you have access to it uh, for 12 months. After that, you will not have access anymore. The exam covers the following domains. As you can see, Kubernetes fundamentals is 46% of the exam. Each uh, domain has subtopics, so if you want to fi uh, find all the subtopics, press on the plus button and you will see all, everything that you need to know in order to prepare for this exam. This exam is a theoretic exam, so you don't need to stay in front of a Kubernetes cluster and you do don't need to deploy any uh, containers to the Kubernetes cluster. Of course, having practice with a Kubernetes cluster will help you and I strongly encourage you uh, to install Minikube or any other Kubernetes cluster that you can use in order to run some kubectl commands. It will uh, help you in uh, order to answer to the questions that are related to the kubectl commands. This exam is based on multiple choice questions. The length of the exam is 90 minutes. I didn't find it very hard, but I need to mention that I previously passed the CKA and CKD exam. So you could find it harder, let's say like that. Uh, I used in my preparation the official Kubernetes and Cloud Native Essential course from the Linux Foundation. Uh, this uh, course gives you a lot of information about all the topics and you have some demos as well. So if you want to follow along, if you have a Kubernetes cluster, you can uh, run the same demos in your environment. In addition to this course, I use the Code Cloud Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate course. I found this course very good. Uh, the length of the course is nine hours, but you will learn about all that you need to know in order to pass the KCNA exam. If you are not ready, if you, you don't know if you are ready to pass the exam or not, you can use the Tutorials Dojo uh, product, which gives you a simple practice exam questions. I didn't use this product in my preparation, but I used uh, our products, our similar products from Tutorial Dojo, and I found them very uh, good. And if you are not uh, prepared to buy this product, you Tutorial Dojo is offering free exam sampler, so you can uh, use this one in order to find if this product is for you. This is all that I wanted to share with you. I hope you find this information useful. Good luck on your journey and good luck on your exam. Bye.